hello and welcome back guys to the another video of the java tutorial series wherein in this video we will be learning about java if else statements so today onwards we are starting about the conditional statements in uh, java so conditional statements are nothing but the statements which which get executed if the certain condition mets okay so there are basically four types in inside it if statement if else statement if else if ladder and nested if still statements we'll be seeing one after one each other so okay so first java if is there so in if we declare if and inside if we write some condition if that condition becomes true the code inside that curly braces will get executed okay so flow of this if statement is run like this so our code gets started and the first condition gets checked if the condition is false then it if it, it it will not execute that part of the code and it will get execution is get towards that uh, below that curly basis and if that condition gets true if code is will get executed okay so uh, we will be seeing the code implementation also let us first uh, try to understand theoretically what is what are those forced types are actually mean okay so java if else is there in if else there is else condition is also there so if the condition of the if statement is not true that is it's false then else condition will be get executed like here if you can see condition if the condition is true the code the code will get executed inside the if 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 block and if the condition is false then the code inside the else block is getting executed here also you can see uh, the program flow comes here condition is getting checked if the condition is false then else code will be get executed and execution get uh, successfully done and if the condition is getting true then if code is getting executed okay so next comes java if else if ladder so it's like a ladder okay so here you can see if condition is there if this condition is not get, uh, getting executed then if else else if is there so condition another condition is getting checked here okay so if condition 2 is true then this part of the else if is getting executed so again else one one more else if is there that is condition 3 is there if that condition 3 is getting true then this block will be get executed okay and uh, you can declare as many uh, else if condition you want and at the last i have declared one else condition that is you all know uh, that will get con uh, executed if all those if and else if uh, are generated as false statements okay so let, let us try to understand by this tree diagram so condition one is there if it is false condition two uh, two will be get checked if again it is false condition uh, like that n number of condition that you declare inside the code will get che checked and any of these any one of this if it is get true then that corresponding statements or the block of the code will be get executed and the program flow will be get uh, continued okay if all those else if and else if get false then the else part will be con uh, executed okay so now nested if uh, is another concept inside java so if condition is there inside if condition another if condition is there so we are checking if inside if okay so let us understand by this small exam uh, tree diagram is here uh, so first condition is checked if that condition is true if got if code is executed okay and inside that another condition is there that is another if if block is there if that condition true if code is there if that condition is get getting false then a program code is altered to an uh, out, outside if okay so this is the four types of the java if else so let's move on move on to the ide and try to implement each one of this okay so here i have created if else name uh, if else class java class java file is there okay uh, inside which i have implemented all those four types and i will try to explain you each one of it okay so i will comment it out okay uh, let's try to understand a normal if statement is there okay i have declared an integer name age uh, and assign it to value as 20 okay uh, and and we are checking the age okay if age is greater than 18 so this is the part which 
here you can see the condition part is there so this is the condition that is being checked and if this condition returns true then this block of code will be get executed otherwise the uh, block of code which is written outside this that is line number 12 which is getting which will be get executed if that condition getting false okay if that in condition gets true this will get executed if not the normal pro flow of the code will be get executed okay so here we are here we have stored age is 20 and 20 is greater than 18 so this is this will be evaluated as true and this block of code will be get executed and the age is greater than 18 will be get printed on the console let's see if it gets printed so here you can see age is greater than 18 is getting printed on our console okay so this is the normal if statement I will just comment it out and now let's talk about the if else okay uh, this is the code that I have written okay if else so here I have created one uh, variable called year I have, assi I have assigned value to it uh, 2020 and if I, I, I have to check whether that year is a leap year or a common year okay so for checking the leap year here we are taking year mod 4 is equal to equals to 0 and year mod 100 is not equals to 0 and this whole uh, guys you can you can see this whole let me highlight and this whole condition is one condition and it 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 is being checked with the another condition that is year mod uh, 400 is equal to equal to 0 okay and this is the or operator which gets evaluated as true if any one of the condition of these two is evaluated as true okay so let's suppose uh, this this block of code is evaluated as true and this evaluated as false then overall if statement will be evaluated as true okay so so this if this is true then it will print the leap year and if this is not true else part will will be get executed as common year so let's run it so here you can see it, it is telling that you know, year 2020 is a leap year that's right okay so moving next we'll be seeing if else if ladder okay so let me just comment it out and comment it and comment this okay so here we are check simply checking the grade of the student okay so here is the marks which are obtained by a student inside an examination okay so we are first we are checking whether the marks is less than 50 if, if the marks is less than 50 this is simply the student is fail in that examination and if the mark is greater than 50 and mark is less than 60 that means uh, and we use and operator when and, uh, and this and operator will be evaluated as, evaluated as true if the both of the condition are getting true so now if the student marks is uh, anywhere between 51 to 659 then that student will be get get the grade d okay similarly c grade is there b grade is there and a grade is there and a, a plus grade is there and if any if any one of this condition is not getting uh, true then else part will be evaluated which is invalid that that means the marks you have that we have entered here is invalid okay so if i click run secret because why it is printing the secret uh, since the marks is 65 which lies between the 61 to 69 that is this block of code okay so that's why secret is printing on the console okay so this is the normal if else ladder is there and now let's go and check nested if statements okay so i have uh, declared two variables name age and weight and i have assigned to them value as 20 and 80 okay and applying condition on age and weight so first of all i am checking that if the age of the user is greater than or equal to 18 so okay so in that case uh, our age is 20 which is greater than equals to uh, which is greater than uh, 18 and again we are checking one one if statement where we are checking weight is greater than 50 and in, in our case our weight is 80 which is greater than 50 so this statement will be executed and printed on the console let me check so here you can see you are eligible to donate blood okay so 
this is the concept behind if else in java so i hope uh, you have get some idea about if else statements in java